In this lecture, we're going to discuss Gaussian mixture models and the EM algorithm, expectation maximization. And I'm going to discuss EM uh, through Gaussian mixture models, so you'll kind of understand the motivation for EM by seeing Gaussian mixture models first. Now, Gaussian mixture models is a generative clustering algorithm. So in GMM, we're going to generate the data. We're going to come up with a probabilistic model for generating the data, and then we'll see where um, the estimation part goes wrong, and that's where EM comes in to help us. Okay, so let me just write this down. The Gaussian mixture models is a soft clustering algorithm where each point sort of probabilistically belongs to each cluster, right? We don't know, we don't know exactly which point, gen, which uh, cluster sort of generated each point. So we're gonna say that each point sort of probabilistically belongs to each cluster. And the way that Gaussian mixture models uh, uh, generates data is that um, it, uh, um, it decides which cluster each point is going to be generated from based on how popular each cluster is. And then once you know which cluster the point's going to be generated from, then you actually generate the value of the point. Okay, so let me just write this down. Now, the reason this problem is interesting is because you run into a really bad issue, uh, which is the fact that you end up with a log of a sum. Now, the log of a sum is not fun to deal with. The log of a product is lovely. The log of a sum is not. Okay, so let's write down Gaussian mixture models, generative model. So first we decide which cluster is going to generate point i, and then we'll figure out what the actual value of that point is in space. What, you know, what's the actual coordinates of the point? Okay, so first we need to uh, just use the, the mixture weights, which are the popularity of the different clusters, to figure out which um, cluster i is going, point i is going to be generated from. So zi is the cluster indicator. It's going to be 1 through k to tell you which cluster we're going to generate point i from. And then w are the mixture weights. Uh, and uh, that, that, those are the, that's the popularity of each of the clusters. And the mixture weights, uh, w, you could think of them as a discrete probability distribution over the different clusters because they determine how popular each cluster is. obviously a discrete probability distribution, all the weights sum up to one and they're all non-negative. Okay, so again, WK are the mixture weights. They determine how What's the probability that i is in cluster k? Okay, so now that we know which uh, cluster i is going to be generated from, we're going to actually generate the, the coordinates in the space where i lives. And that's going to be from a Gaussian. Um, and each cluster has its own center and its own covariance. And by the way, we have to infer all of those things. We have to infer the cluster centers and the covariance matrices for each cluster, each of the K clusters. Okay, so this is um, 
mu is the cluster's center, and then uh, sigma here is the cluster's covariance structure. All right, so let me draw you an example of that. So maybe there's mu. Okay, so this is this is saying that you know, given the cluster center and its covariance, um, you can actually compute the probability that uh, that x i, this random variable x i equals a specific value of x i. Okay, so maybe that specific value is out here. And again, here's the center mu for mu k. Okay, this is cluster k. Okay, cool. So let me just go over the uh, data before we continue. And then I just want to remind you that, um, I just want to remind you of the Gaussian distributions formula because it's kind of messy. Okay, let me put it in here. So just a reminder. We're in P dimensions. Okay, there. All right. Okay, so let's uh, just review our notation and then we'll go from there. Okay, so xi are the data that we're trying to generate. This is clustering, there's no y, it's just x's. And then zi is a number between one and k, and it is the cluster assignment for point i. And of course, um, this is chosen from a categorical distribution over the different values from one to k that determine how popular each cluster is. Mu k is the center of cluster k, center of the Gaussian. And then sigma k is the covariance structure of cluster k. So I can just write that it's the spread of cluster k, so in which directions it's spreading. And then, of course, the mixture weights are called w k. That's how popular each cluster is. It's the proportion of data in cluster K. All right, so um, let's actually go through that process and generate some fake data here. All right, so um, my cluster centers are going to be here, here, and there. So that's mu1, mu2, mu3. And then I'm going to draw the covariance structure <laughs> for each of them. Okay, so now let's generate our data. So let's assume that the green cluster is really popular. So I'll generate a lot of points from that cluster. And then maybe the purple cluster is not quite so popular. And the pink cluster is pretty popular. So now I've, I've generated my, my fake data set. So let's write down um, the likelihood for Gaussian mixture models.
So it's the probability that we saw what we did given all of the parameters. So what are the parameters again? They're the mixture weights, so how popular each cluster is, the mixture centers, and the mixture covariances. Okay, so remember the mixture weights, W1 through WK, the mixture centers, mu1 through mu k, and then these guys, these are the covariances, 1 through k. All right, now I'm lazy, so I'm just going to call that whole giant thing theta. All right, now each of the points is generated independently from this process, so um, I can just write this as a product of the probabilities to generate each of the points individually. And that makes things a lot nicer. Okay, great. Thank goodness my notation collapsed. Otherwise it was going to get bigger and bigger. Okay. Now from the law of total probability, we can actually write this thing as a sum over k times the probability that the cluster is k. Okay. So we're summing over all possible cluster assignments for point i. Okay, now, now we know what we're doing because we know that the probability that uh, the cluster is k, we know that that's wk. And we, if we knew that the cluster center, that, that the cluster was k that generated point i, and we know all the parameters, we know the mean and the covariance structure for cluster k, then this is actually normal centered at mu k with covariance sigma k. Cool. And now we know how to write everything down. Okay. But before I go to the trouble of doing that, I'm going to take the log. <laughs> because, um, yeah, otherwise it's going to get a little messy. Let's go and do that. Just a little simplifying here because we have log of a product, so that's not so bad to deal with. Ah, now we're in trouble. Oh boy, that's bad, log of a sum. Okay, so um, we're actually really stuck. We actually can't pass the log through the sum. And um, this, you'd think maybe this is a problem with just Gaussian mixture models, and maybe this is just an issue that happens here, but actually it's a very general problem that happens whenever you have a hidden variable like k, right? Whenever you don't exactly know which cluster the, the data are generated from or which hidden variable the data are generated from, then you have this problem where you have log of a sum. And so we've got to figure out what to do about that log of a sum. And that's what the EM algorithm is for. So the EM algorithm is a, a procedure that handles exactly this, this log of a sum. Okay, so the way the EM algorithm is going to work is uh, that it's going to have us update the cluster assignments, the Z's, and then we're going to update all the parameters, the theta, the, the theta, which consists of the, um, the w here, the w and the mu and the sigma. Okay, so we're going to update the z's and then the theta and then the z and then the theta. So it's going to be an alternating minimization scheme, kind of like what we did for k-means. All right, so let's, uh, 
let's uh, take a pause from Gaussian mixture models to tell you how to do EM. And then we're going to apply EM exactly on this problem. <laughs> 